What is going on guys? Today is a very exciting day here on the Trev and Chels channel. I'm super pumped about this. We're actually going to an NFL game. This is going to be awesome. We're going to a Jacksonville Jaguars game, which Jacksonville is a decent ways away from Orlando. We've got a bit of a drive. We're driving over to the East Coast right now. We're going to pick my mom up in Daytona. And then that takes about an hour and then it's another like hour, hour and a half north uh, up the coast is Jacksonville. And um, I wish we would have gone to more games this year. Unfortunately, we didn't make it. But the reason why we're specifically going to this one is because they're playing the Minnesota Vikings, which is by far my favorite sports team. I've been a huge Vikings fan for my entire life because my family were always Vikings fans. I'm not sure why, because we're from Illinois. We're not from Minnesota. But um, yeah, so we're going to be going to this game. It's going to be awesome. Minnesota had a really, really good start to the year this year. They haven't been doing so well, but the Jags really aren't doing that well either, so I think we might be able to pull out a win. And we actually have fantastic, fantastic tickets. So you guys know Ray, you've seen him a lot here in the vlogs. Unfortunately, otherwise he probably would have went with us, he has a race today. So it's not a NASCAR race, it's like a, a little local charity race type thing that he's doing over in Ocala. And he's like, bro, I'm not gonna use these tickets if you wanna go take my tickets. So we had other tickets lined up that somebody else was giving us, but he has season tickets in the club level where we're going to have our own table and waiters and unlimited drinks and food and everything. So it's going to be a, a pretty VIP experience and uh, it's kind of exciting. So I can't wait to check it out. We're going to bring you guys along for the ride. We've got a bit of a drive ahead of us right now. It's currently 1042. The game starts at one and uh, we've got like two and a half hours worth of driving so it's going to be cutting it close but um we'll see you guys in a bit why are you on the side of the street <laughs> waiting for you <laughs> here do a yui and there's a little piece of dirt road we can just we can take that <laughs> yeah. so we came here to daytona to pick up my mom to go to the game and she's like meet me at the racetrack gas station just off the interstate so here i am flying down the road trying to get to the racetrack and then she's flailing her arms and screaming at me from the side of the road like a crazy hillbilly <laughs> hitchhiking homeless person all right okay. anyway let's get to the the game It's 12.35 right now, so we have 25 minutes till kickoff, which I would really like to see the opening kickoff. I haven't been to a NFL game in quite some time. And we're in all this traffic trying to find a place to park. We honestly have no clue what we're doing, and Junior is racing right now. He's physically in his car, so he can't answer and tell us what to do, so. Gotta figure this out. We got a Skull Vikings chant going on right now. Look at these guys up there. There's actually a lot more Vikings fans than I was expecting. It's just to see a purple out here. Well guys, we finally figured it out. There are a ton of little parking things along the side. I think if we would have went to the right spot, we could have got in for free. We had to pay 30 bucks, which kind of sucks. Um, the worst part is kickoff is in like 10, 15 minutes. And we're here on the east side of the stadium, which you guys can see is right there. But we're sitting in the West Club. So we are here and we need to be all the way over there. So this is where we want to be, except on the other side, the exact other side. And she brought a purse that was too bag and they won't let her in with it, or too big, not too bag. So now we have to go to bag check and we're gonna miss opening kickoff. Oh, hey, look, those are the military planes flying over that we missed. So as it turns out, they actually both had to check their bags, even though my mom's was a lot smaller. Originally, I thought it was because her bag was too big, but it's actually a security feature. So they make you take all your stuff out and put it in a plastic bag they can see through. They should which say that, like on the ticket. Like, they, they should. should tell you. So we finally made it. They have a food court in here. This is so cool. All right, so we're trying to find our seat right now. So we missed the opening drive. We just got to our seats. Vikings are up 3-0 right now. Didn't get you guys opening kickoff, but I'll get you guys this kick right here. Look at these seats, dude. Oh my goodness. We have our own table, 
These super comfy chairs, all these are for us. They'll bring us drinks, they'll bring us food from inside, they'll bring us anything we want. It's amazing. How do you like it, Mom? Hi. Is it pretty good? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Here's some the best seats I've ever stayed in. I know. I know. They're supposed to have a pool that you can get tickets in. Oh, it's over there. You guys see that? Oh, yeah. Look at all those dudes in their swim trunks watching football. No way. That is insane. We gotta put that on the bucket list. Yeah, midsummer. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, Sana has fun. She got herself a little wine, brought a bucket of beer and water. Vikings are up three to zero. Life couldn't be any better. Chels, do you see that cameraman down there? Don't you think these guys would be interested in some footage of that cameraman? Just look at him, how he's squatting over there. He's looking really, I can barely take my eyes off of him. Like look, look at what a great job he's doing getting photos right now. The security guards, they're really guarding that field well too. It's a great, great, great view from up here from these seats, isn't it? <laughs> so here's an interesting fact about Blake Bortles, the quarterback for the Jags. He has 10 career starts and 11 career pick sixes. So he has thrown, on average, more than one pick six per game for his entire season, which is awful. Look at this t-shirt gun, it's a Gatling gun, are you kidding me? What? Oh my gosh! Apart from when the Vikings score, this might be my favorite part of the game. I'm catching the side eye look right now, guys. Every catch is worth $25. Oh, there's 25 bucks. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he almost fell. Ah, ball, come on, ball. You got this ball. So not too long ago, I said life couldn't get better. Well, now the Vikings are in the red zone. They're still up 9-3 to three right now. Or no, it's 9-6. to six. Shoot, they scored while we were getting food. We didn't even know that. Look at this. She got a gator dog thing. I got a bacon cheeseburger with french fries. We got loaded tots as an appetizer and another bacon cheeseburger for my mom. This would have cost $52, but it's included with our tickets. So not only are all these drinks and snacks included, all this is included too. That is nuts. They're going for it. It's fourth down and half a yard. Come on now, we got this. Detroit Lions fan. So it's not that she likes the Jags more than the Vikings, she just wants the Vikings to lose for the Lions. Okay, so the very end of the first half, there are like 10 seconds left or something like that, and that's gonna tie it up. Myers. Nine to nine, after the first. Woo, let's go baby! Yes! Our first touchdown of the game, we were down by four. We're now gonna be up by three, pinning, making the point after. If you guys are not from, if you don't watch American football or hand egg, as a lot of people like to call it, you probably are gonna know what we're talking about. I apologize for this segment of the video. But basically, we just done good. We got ourselves seven points, and we're gonna be up. They did well. We done good. <laughs> Woo! She's loving it. Can I get a high five, Mom? I, I love it. <laughs> she didn't know we were recording her. Oh yeah. I like a good cowgirl. Would you just look at that? 25 to 16. 
Looks like we came, saw, and conquered, just like the Vikings did back in the day. All the Jags fans are leaving. How upset are you? The Lions, Lions lost too. Won. No, the Lions won. Oh, they won? They no, beat the Bears? Team. Oh, okay. I thought they lost. All right. Well, still a fight for the NFC North. Game is over, and the Vikings took it home, baby. They just tried like a 60-plus yard field goal. They got blocked. So that's that. We also had a bit of an exciting moment. She's a little weirded out. There's a guy behind us right here. I don't know if you could ever see him in the vlog, but he was an older guy and he was really rude. He was especially rude to me. We had some fans come up and I like got up to shake their hand and say what's up and he's like, hey, you need to move. We weren't even in his field of vision. Another kid comes up. The Jaguars are already down by nine and he takes his beer bottle and chucks it at the back of the kid's head. He was, yeah. he was like maybe 15 years old and the kid almost starts crying and he's like, get the out of the way so I stand up and I start yelling at him about how it's uncalled for somebody escorted him out so he's gone now but I wish I would have had it on camera justice is gonna be served the guy that was next to that guy that threw the beer bottle apparently he knows somebody and he knows where to send things in and he's gonna mail in to the Jaguars and get this guy who's a season ticket holder kicked out of the last game of the season at least that's his plan so I, I sincerely hope it happens and I wish I could have got it on film for you guys it's probably pointless to tell you right now but I'm just a little bit fired up about it. The game was over, they had definitely lost, and even if they hadn't, even if it was the most crucial play of the game, it's a game. You don't throw something at somebody. It, it was like a little kid who was raging about losing a video game. He was mad his team lost, and so he threw a bottle at a kid. Like, come on, bro. 